What's going on, y'all? The review is here, and I'm back to give y'all this album review of Coop, Coop's the Nika, called The Inevitable. And first of all, I want to say rest in peace to Coop. Um, he was one of my favorite artists coming up in the game and all that stuff, man. Um, this is his fourth album. This is Undermines Music, and this is the real deal. I know how I do. I want to say this was probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Coopster album after um, The Devil's Playground. All right. I'm going to try to get the Underground Music Volume 1. And I already have the K Project. I'm going to review that as well. So this album was pretty much, I don't know if this was really a diss to 3 Six Mafia or not. But you know how they said the Unbreakables and then this one is the Inevitable. So I, I figured maybe. So anyway, let's get with the review. The producer of this album, and I hope I got them all. If not, I'll put them all in the description box. But the producers were Millie Mail, Coop, Scam Man, Lil Pat, and Elvis. Those were all the producers. The features where you can see it on here is Gangsta Boo, La Chat, Millie Mail, Memphis Day, now, I don't know who Memphis Day is, but he's a pretty dope lyricist, man. So I'll get to that in a little while, all right? So those are all the features for this album. Let's go with the songs now. You can see it on here. The first track is called, it's just an intro, Coop just talking and all that stuff. And then the second track called No Apologies. This is a nice sample from Halloween. And Coop come through with a nice verse. Like this is like a interlude type deal. Then whip that B. This song features Gangsta Boo. If y'all remember the Underground Music Volume One, he had that song, he had that version on there as well. But this is kind of like a hard crunk type deal. Coop come through with some decent verses. Gangsta Boo come through with a dope verse. You know what I mean? This song is just straight up crunk. Black Rain. I'm going to review that song. This is a dope ass track, man. This is a great sample from Lord Infamous. May he rest in peace as well. But it's from um, that Triple Six Clubhouse. It's dope as hell with a dope ass beat and Coop coming in with that versatility style that he's known for. Definitely one of my favorite tracks off of the album. Come Get Wrong is another dope song. This is a sample from a, a rock band. I can't remember which band, but that hook goes hard. I love singing that hook. Coop comes through with some dope verses, man. Another one of my favorite tracks off of the album. This is probably a must peep for those who haven't heard this album yet. The, I'm gonna go down to Sadiddy Bees. This is a really nice track. And honestly, I didn't like this song at first. But after keep hearing it every, you know, every once, it, it, I start liking it a little bit more. And he comes through with some nice verses. I think he's taking shots at Ludacris. I could be wrong. This is, like I said, the lyrics is on point though. Fire. This is a pretty nice track. This song is pretty much about blazing up. Coop, I think he's dissing Threeses Mafia on this track here. And... This is a pretty dope track. Then 528 Cash. This features LaChat. This is another one of my personal favorites off of the album. Coop comes through with some nice verses. He's kind of calling out names on here who may have snitched on him and all that stuff. Then LaChat comes in with a dope verse. I don't think there's really any verses he don't go hard on, man. About to lose my mind. This song is really nice. Uh, this song was on the underground music. Coop goes hard on this song, man. And then he sings the same verse from Stash Part, the second verse on the second verse on here. <laughs> I like that singing on the hook, man. It, it's really nice. I'm gonna go down to Relax. Relax is a really dope track as well. It, it, it kind of got me thinking about life when I hear it. And for those who don't know, this is sample from the movie Scarface. This is the part when, this is when Tony Montana was uh, with Alex Sosa and Omar. You would hear that sound in the middle of that movie. But 
this song is dope, man. I, like I said, this is another one of my favorite tracks off of the album. Then North, South, East Memphis. This features Memphis Day. And this is kind of like a get crumb, get buck type track. And Coop come through with a nice verse. I think it's from one of his other songs too. And Memphis Day come through with a dope verse. I mean, he he's a great lyricist. I don't think he done any solos or anything like that, but he just did features. And he comes through with a dope verse and Coop comes through with a pretty nice verse at the end. Then Smoke Dog is a funny skit. It's from the movie Friday. Smoking on the Dro is kind of laid back, man. Just like the song goes. It's a great sample from Pimp C. I believe it's Pimp C. If so, may he rest in peace regardless though. And Memphis Day is also on the song and he comes through with a nice verse and Coop coming through with the crazy voices and all that stuff. Ball Heads, this song was also on the underground music. This song is pretty nice, man. I like, I don't like the first part of the song though, but when he starts rapping, I like that, that beat when it comes through. He comes through with some dope verses and he just talking about some ball head girls on it and then kitsch this song is kind of crunk you know what i'm saying you hear it, you know coop mean business and melly mel comes through with a little short verse it's pretty decent and then the last one is an outro but it's kind of like a song if that beat comes through man he coop comes through with a low freestyle verse on there man he comes hard on here this is probably a, a, one of my favorite beats the rap to man because i honestly thought about rapping to this track if i can find whatever space but nonetheless this is a really tight song here and that's pretty much it that's all the songs that i review for this album and to rate this here um i would give this a solid 8.5 out of a 10. coop does a really good job of his versatility and all that stuff throughout this album um, the only downfall is he says some of the same verses on certain songs and he got some of the tracks that's from the underground music. But nonetheless, he does have songs that you haven't heard before or remixes from his older albums and stuff like that. Um, I would recommend this album if you're a Coopster fan or even perhaps a Memphis fan because he does have some crunk songs throughout this album. And I, like I said, I highly recommend picking it up. And again, I'm gonna say rest in peace to Coop, because like I said, he was one of my favorite artists from Three Seas Mafia, him and Lord. That's pretty much it, man. Pick this gen up when you get a chance, because I think it's starting to become out of print. All right, so that's it. Much love and shout out to all the producers and the features. All right, and much love to the real folks. And I'll be on here back with another review, all right? Peace out, guys.